3,000 years ago, East Asian warriors developed a philosophy called Tung Su Do. We know it now as mind over matter. It allowed those gladiators to withstand tremendous pain and injury while their opponents succumbed to death. Tonight, in our dentist studio, a disciple of that ancient philosophy will attempt to put his name in the record book. Now, I warn you, what you're about to see is extremely graphic. Let's go to Mark Thompson. Here with Master Dominic Giacobbe, the seventh degree black belt in Kung Su Do. Before we describe what you're about to see tonight, we've all heard the expression mind over matter. Tell us exactly what that means. Uh, it's actually taking the body beyond its uh, potential, uh, using the mind to focus and go beyond our uh, expectations. Master Giacobbe will now mentally prepare himself for what he will endure. And as you do that, let me explain what he'll be attempting. These are two eight-inch steel motorcycle spokes. They've been modified so that the tips of both ends are needle point sharp. Both of Master Giacobbe's forearms will be pierced by the spokes. Each one will go completely through the skin. If all goes well, they will draw no blood. Then he will suspend two 10-pound buckets filled with water from each of these spokes. Next, he will attempt to stand on these 18-inch razor-sharp daggers. Again, if all goes well, no blood. And finally, a 60-pound weight will be suspended in a harness which will be held between the master's clenched teeth. Once again, I remind you, what you're about to see is very graphic. Don't try this at home. Master Jacoby, the stage is yours. Now, Master Jacoby is doing what is called a young or form. He explained that this is to help develop a oneness between his mind, body, and spirit. He's now sitting on the floor, and he's going to cleanse his mind to a state of what he calls nothingness. We're asking the audience to maintain their silence so that he can keep his focus. Oh. Master Jacoby's rubbing that spoke through his hair now to prevent infection. He will now attempt to put that eight inch steel spoke completely through his arm. told me that as he pierces his arm, he does not feel any pain at all. Through his mind, he says he's able to take the chi and turn the pain section off, not feel any pain at all. through his arms, he does that without any bleeding. And he says that he can do this because of the meditation, slowing his metabolism down. The needles are through his arms and no blood. And now that the spokes are through his arms, they're bringing in the buckets of water to hang from those spokes. Remember, Master Jacoby says the pain is eliminated just by focusing on relaxing. He says he really doesn't feel the weight at all. Those are two razor-sharp daggers he will attempt to put his total body weight on. When he stands on the sword, again, Master Jacoby says he feels no pain. He feels the blade of the sword, but because he's relaxed, he no longer feels the pain associated with it. Once he's in that state of mind, Master Giacobbe says he can stay on the sword as long as he wants. Now, Master Giacobbe's going to attempt to suspend that 60-pound barbell from his teeth. The intensity in the studio right now is unbelievable. Master Giacobbe tells us that one part of him has to relax 
tries to do this, the other part of him, of course, has to hold up the weight in his teeth. This is all a reflection of the power of the mind, says Master Jacobi. what we've just witnessed, no cuts on his feet, no blood. Now, Master Jacobi must remove the spokes from his arms. When the spoke is removed, Master Jacobi must still remain very calm and focused. He says his metabolism slows down to the point that when the spoke is taken out, there will be no bleeding. but no blood. Master Jacobi wants to make clear to people looking in that he's not some sort of freak or abnormal person. This is all in service of the strength of the mind. And that's what this exercise is about. This scene here was not a magic trick of any sort. Let's look at the moment that the spokes pierce through your arms. And again, we should say, don't try this at home. Yes, this takes many years. I uh, learned from uh, some great Oriental masters, and I traveled to the Orient. And uh, when I learned this technique, I studied for seven years. A lot of meditation, and uh, you know, the exercise is important also. That uh, helps become oneness between mind and spirit. The holes you could actually, as you were pulled away and the spokes were being pulled out, you could actually see through. I mean, the holes were obviously completely punctured, but there was no blood. You can change from the physical self as you know yourself, as to uh, where you have a lot of confidence in yourself that you can do this. Congratulations. Your name will now go in the Guinness Book of the Mind Warrior. Ladies and gentlemen, Master Giacobbe.